All right, this is a quick video of covering section 2.2. All right, so basically what we're going to do at this point. At 2.1, you had uh, lines or, or linear functions. So remember, a linear function has the form f of x equals m or the slope times your, your x value plus some y-intercept, okay? Another way of saying it is y equals mx plus b, where b is your y-intercept. Now, the whole point, or one of the, I won't say the whole point, but one of the benefits of, of, of mathematics in terms of the real world is models. Like, you take COVID-19, for instance. We can use models, even though it's not a linear model, but nonetheless, we can take that data we can we can create a model and based on that model we can make uh, approximations or get estimates of, of what's happening in real life so just to get into this real quick um, you've got what's called a regression line so so basically regression line and again let's say we've got time and let's say as our x-axis and we've got um, Let's say salary. So let's do money, right? As our y-axis. So now let's take it for, for, as an example, uh, you know the the notion that the more time you spend or the more education you have, right? Over time, what you want to happen, want to happen is, kind of want your salary to increase with time. Now it's more, it's more, again, that model is more quadratic than it is uh, linear, but for our purposes. So all those, those blue dots, they represent just data points over time or salary over time, okay? So what we're trying to do with the line of best fit is we're trying to draw a line that models, okay? That gives us a, a, a the most reasonable approximation of what's happening with respect to those data values. Okay, so the way we do this in the next slide, I kind of explain it. Well, actually, it tells you the steps. Now, again, I'm using the Desmos app, so you don't have to actually um, follow all five of these steps. But it's good. It's good to come back and just kind of pause. You know, pause the video, read the steps just to kind of get a get a handle of, of what's going to actually happen two slides from now. So basically, we plot our data, we get a scatter plot, and then what we try to do is we try to, to, to draw a line of best fit, okay? Now, the way we know, or one method that we use to determine whether this line is a good fit is we use something called, you know, correlation coefficient. Some people will call it Pearson's R, okay, in statistics. But basically what we're looking at is we want to be as close to one as possible, all right? Now, notice if you've got a negative one, that just means negative one, you know, you have a, a strong, or you can almost say exact, strong negative relationship between your independent and dependent variables. Or we can put it this way, between your domain and your range values. All right, a positive one means there's a strong positive relationship between your variables. Okay, so you you can run the gamut. You could be you could be at negative one, which is, is almost perfect negative relationship between those two values. You could have a positive one which is a exact positive relationship, but it runs the gamut, okay? So what we're going to do, real simple. All right, we've got, a, we've got a data set, okay? And we're looking at the, retire, the retirement payment to a 62-year-old retired with 21 years of service at Clarion State University as a function of a number of years of service, okay? So now what we're going to do, is I'm gonna pull up, I'm gonna pull up Desmos, 
Oops. Let's pull it up. Okay. And what we're going to do is we want to we want to plot this data. So we really want an expression. So not an expression, I'm sorry. We have a table cuz we got a scatter plot. Now notice the subscripts. All right, we got x sub 1 and it's saying okay, what year? Okay? So this is year 21. We're going to put in the salary, 40950, or I guess you would call it the uh, retirement payout. Uh, 22 years of service, right? 42,900, so 42, $42,900, 23 years of service, 44,850, 24 years of service. Forty-six thousand eight hundred twenty-five years of service, and we're at forty-eight thousand seven hundred fifty dollars. All right. So now notice if you look, and I'm gonna just go ahead and go full screen here. All right. Now I've got my data, but if you look at your window, you're like, hey, where's the data? Where's the data? Okay, so what we need to do, we need to change this window. All right, we're talking about time, which is our x-axis. So, of course, that needs to be zero. Um, we start with 21 years of service, so let's go up to 30. Try to get a good window. Um, the wages, I think the low was, what's the low? The lowest wage was actually, so let's say 41,000, okay? So 41,000. Let's make that the low. Let's make the high. Uh, say 40, 49,000. Okay. And let's see what we got. Now I'm going to pinch just a little bit. Just a little bit. All right. So now I notice there's my data. Okay. All right. So I'm looking at it. I'm like, okay, that, that, could, that could be a you know, almost a straight line. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to have Desmos help us make this uh, this equation of the model or this function, okay? So all we do is we take, now notice we've got this subscript of y sub 1, so we got to go y, all right, sub 1. And then the key for regression is that little tilde, little squiggly line, all right? And then we're going to type our equation. So linear function is mx. Again, we're going to use subscript of 1 because that's, that's what we're using for our data set, okay? Notice we got x sub 1, y sub 1, all right? Now, but we also want the y-intercept, so b. So, all right, so now it knows just what just happened, okay? So I'm going to go close that. So now notice, there it is. Okay, so if I go back, and let's pull up, let's pull this up real quick. All right, I did a scatter plot. I found my line of best fit. And then we want to know, we want to know, well, I can't do that yet. Let's back up. We want to know how, how good of a model is this. All right, so now you go back. Now notice, if you look at this, um, your second function, all right, or your regression line, right, that y sub 1 regressed with your slope times x sub 1 plus b. All right, it's giving me everything. It's telling me that r is 1. All right, so that tells me this is a strong or almost a perfect positive relationship between my years of service and my retirement payment. All right, and in fact, I can go ahead and write the equation. All right, so we're going to say y, or right, let's not, let's, let's use function notation. Let's say f of x equals my slope 
And so it's, it's coming straight from Desmos. It's 1,950 1, times X plus. Now the key is if you look at Desmos, you see you, see you got B equals 1.8344 times 10 to the negative 11. That's essentially zero. All right. So if they ask you, and there's some problems in the homework that will ask you for the for the slope, and then we'll ask you for the y-intercept. In this case, the y-intercept is zero. So simple enough. So that's all we did. All right. So now we take another set of data. Now again, make sure you interpret, okay? Because this is year 21, so we could actually find what the retirement payment will be at year 26, with 26 years of service um, at this university. All right, so now we wanna find next model, okay, real life situation. We've got female population, and I don't know if this, I don't, I can't say which country, okay, but I do know that we have so many years after the year 2000 and then we have the population in millions. So make sure they ask you a follow-up question. Your answer in terms of population will be in millions. All right. So first thing I'm going to do, they tell me X is the number of years after 2000. So I know 2020 would be 20. This would be 25. This would be 30. 35. This would be 40. I ain't got 45. 50, 55, and 60. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this guy. I'm going to hide all of this. I'm going to add me a new table, okay? What I want this to be is I want it to be a table, and I think, give me a table. Now, notice the subscript turn to X sub 2. All right, no problem. I'm going to go ahead and put our data in. All right, so 20 years after the year 2000, we're at 37.2. Uh, 25 years, we're at 38.2. 30 years, we're at 39 point, oops. We're at 39.2. 35 years. We're at 39.8. 40 years, we're at 40.4. 45, you're at 41. 50, 42 million, 55, 42.9 million, and year 60, we're at 43.6 million. All right, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead, got our data in. Now we need to do our regression. So we're gonna add, so Y, now notice, Y sub two is actually, you gotta use the subscript of two. So Y sub two, You're going to do your regress. Oops, hold on. Let's back up. And make sure you're in the right spot. Don't make that, that regression a subscript. So Y sub 2 in the same format. M, X. Now, your subscript, again, your data set is 2. All right? Plus. That plus B is standard. All right? So there it is. It gave it to me. All right? Now, again... If, if I want to plot, well, let's go this way. Hit my gear. I know I'm talking about a real life situation and I'm talking about time. So X men should be zero and we need to go out to about, let's go out to 62 years. And you could probably, let's go 63 years. Let's step by maybe three. And y'all don't have to do the step, okay? You, you just will have, probably have to pinch your graph a little bit. Uh, the, the population was at, 
think the low was 37 so let's go let's go up 35 and the high let's go up to 50 there we go all right so now notice there's our model now again you won't really care about anything to the to the right of this um vertical axis because we're talking about time all right so now notice we've got something that will probably let's say look like that in real real life context that's probably how you would let's go over so you could see the axis a little but that's what it looks like okay so now i know that my regression coefficient or my line of best fit will be f of x equals, and you pull this right from your regression coefficient, your slope is 0.155x plus, let's go 34 point, let's go 0.3, okay? So your starring population will be 34.3 million, million females under the age of 18 in the year 2000. And you're growing by a constant rate of, of about 16% each year. So that's simply how you find or create linear models using the data set. It's just taking your technology and, and using it to your advantage. So I help, hope this helps.